let's go back to the basics. Hi, I'm Alyssa with Southland Organics and today we're going to take a little bit of time to talk about something we're all very familiar with. Defending your flock against disease and pests starts with your biosecurity program. Biosecurity is broadly defined as prevention of disease-causing agents entering or leaving any place where they can pose a risk to humans, animals, or the safety and quality of a food product. On a commercial poultry farm, that means keeping the bacteria, viruses, fungus, and pests that cause disease away from your birds. Although incredibly important for the production of all food animal species, these practices are specifically necessary in poultry due to high concentration of animals and inherent disease risk that comes from that. Developing a sound biosecurity program for your property and personnel is an integral part of raising healthy and profitable flocks. But where do you even start? Biosecurity can be broken into three basic categories, conceptual, structural, and procedural. Conceptual biosecurity is kind of like the foundation of your farm and revolves around the location of your facilities. This mostly pertains to isolating your farm from neighboring farms, public roads, or areas where large populations of animals may gather, such as slaughterhouses, agricultural fairgrounds, or wetlands. Structural biosecurity deals with physical factors, such as farm layout, house design, and air filtration within the houses. Is there adequate drainage around your house to prevent standing water? Do vehicles on farm have a clear path to follow? Are houses being maintained properly to ensure that they provide an appropriate, sealed environment for your flocks? Procedural biosecurity refers to routines and procedures that prevent the introduction and spread of infectious agents within a farm or facility. These practices should be under constant review and altered in response to outbreaks, emergencies, and changes on farm. Examples include disinfecting equipment, use of personal protective equipment, and individuals entering and exiting the house using disinfectants. So what can you do on your farm? I'm sure that everyone watching this already has some form of biosecurity program in place. But here are a few of the basics. One, limit your contact with other birds, commercial or wildlife. If you are visiting another farm, be sure to take precautions such as showering, changing clothes, and disinfecting your vehicle before entering their farm or returning to your own. Non-commercial populations of birds pose an extremely high risk to commercial operations. It's always a good idea to limit contact with waterfowl, backyard flocks, and fairs or poultry shows. In cases where contact can't be avoided, be sure to take proper precautions. Two, don't borrow disease. Unfortunately, this means not borrowing much of anything, at least not without cleaning it first. Shared supplies such as tools and equipment can be carrying germs of all sorts. Be sure to thoroughly clean anything you borrow before introducing it to your farm. Items made of wood and cardboard shouldn't be shared due to their material's porous nature, which makes them extremely difficult and almost impossible to clean adequately. Three, make sure that your personnel are up to date and educated on all biosecurity measures. Even the best biosecurity plans are pointless if not implemented correctly. Be sure that everyone entering the farm and especially the houses are aware of the importance of biosecurity and proper use of available PPE and disinfectants. Last but certainly not least, number four, spend time with your birds daily. Although life on a poultry farm can be hectic and tiresome, spending time with your flock to be familiar with their behavior can make it much easier for you to know the signs of illness when they appear. A grower once told me that the best thing you can put on your farm is your shadow. Things like increased mortality, gasping for air, watery or green diarrhea, lack of energy, and poor appetite are some of the early signs of catastrophic poultry illnesses. So just to review, your biosecurity program has three main components, conceptual, structural, and procedural. On your farm, it's important to implement strategies to keep pathogens and pests away from your birds. Keep your distance from other birds, commercial or otherwise. Don't borrow disease. Educate your personnel and always, always, always spend time with your birds. As always, thank you for watching. For more information on biosecurity and other poultry farming topics, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media. If you have any questions about our channel or our products, you can reach out to our poultry sales rep, Alan Reynolds at alan at southlandorganics.com or give us a call at 800-608-3755.